What's up guys and welcome back to Adventure Boat. My name is Kelly. We're here in Tacoma, Washington at the Next Jump Outfitters World Headquarters. A hint behind me of what we're doing here. The Super Duty is going in for a major makeover, Hollywood style, and it's gonna get transformed into the Super Ute. Now this right here is the final resting place for the Super Duty as it sits right now. You are never gonna see it looking like this again. This right here is going to be the base of the build. This is a flatbed that's gonna replace the factory bed on the Super Duty. Now the Super Duty isn't necessarily the ultimate off-road vehicle. I fully understand that. However, this is a gap vehicle. Basically what this is, is going to be part utilitarian, part overlanding, which is why it's gonna be called the Super Ute. Never in my wildest dreams did I imagine I'd ever build a full-size overland rig. Moving to Montana has definitely changed my priorities. Gathering firewood is a daily event. Prepping for winter is always on the horizon. The bed is off and the truck is in the shop and everything is coming along nicely. Getting the bed off was actually a lot easier than I thought it'd be. These guys are absolute pros here at Next Jump Outfitters. I've got Odin and Charles here and they are just working full time on this thing. It has to be ready to go for Northwest Overland Rally. So that's uh, like five days away. So we don't have a lot of time. They are busting through this. Hopefully everything is smooth as silk. I gotta say though, it is weird watching these guys working so hard on my rig and me kind of sitting back and just being a spectator. A completely different experience that I'm actually enjoying. Next Jump Outfitter isn't just a shop. They are able to make turnkey expedition rigs as well as complete upfitting and they've got a lot more coming in the near future. We are past the midpoint of day one on this project and it is moving really fast. The beds come off, that went off way faster than I thought it would. They've got the rear bumper off. The guys have got the rear suspension in. This is the super lift kit with the Bilstein shocks um, with Method 704s and the 37 inch Firestone MT2s, which look super meaty on this truck. I cannot wait to see the bed on this thing because it's gonna be absolutely killer. We have the rest of today and then two more days to finish this up time's ticking away day one is finished up and in the books we are done it's five o'clock everyone is packing up to leave they got a ton done today the rear bumper is in and complete the go rider bumper looks really really good on the truck it's really going to fit this build nicely uh, they got the rear suspension completely in, wheels and tires are on, and they're halfway done with the front suspension. So we have a lot to do still. Luckily, we have two more days to do it, and we're going to work late hours. These guys don't know yet, but we're working late uh, Thursday and Friday to get this thing done and ready for Northwest Overland Rally. So uh, tomorrow's going to be a big day. We'll see you guys there. Welcome to day two of Project Super Ute. The shop's been over about 15 minutes and these guys are already working hard getting that front suspension done. The goal today is to get the suspension completely installed, get the truck set on its tires so that it's level, that way we can level the flatbed on the truck and hopefully get the flatbed completely installed today, which would be great. And it's gonna be a long, exhausting day, but we're getting this done and it's gonna be awesome. I'm getting a lot of questions, why? Why would I take a perfectly good usable bed off my Super Duty and put on a flatbed? And the real reason is Montana. After retiring and moving to Montana, it has completely shifted what I thought a truck was used for. Never before have I needed to have the capability that I need here in Montana. My log home is getting a full renovation, so I'm constantly at the big box stores and our local hardware stores picking up lumber and brick and rock and concrete and everything else you can possibly imagine fireplaces it's a really big project we're doing here in montana on top of building a lot of other structures and my log home is completely heated by firewood so now i have to go out into the woods cut down my own trees to provide heat for all winter long here in montana it has definitely expanded what i thought i would be using my truck for here in montana and having the Next Jump Outfitters flatbed 
which is also aluminum at an amazing price point, just expands the capability to a whole other level. Day three and the team here at Next Jump Outfitters is already hard at work getting this flatbed installed. We ran into some difficulties yesterday just with fitment, electrical, and plumbing with the gas lines. So we got a little hung up on that. However, we are full steam ahead today. Uh, we are 30 minutes into this day and we're already about to install the flatbed. Unfortunately, my brand new Go Rhino rear steel bumper is not gonna work with this flatbed. It just covers up the tail lights with its angles. So we're gonna have to figure out some workaround for that. However, everything else is going very smooth up to this point. When it comes down to crunch time, everybody chips in. The 23-0 tent came in yesterday. It's the Kabari XL, which is gonna be a big, massive tent that's gonna really fit the look of this uh, Super Ute build, which is a big, massive truck. It would all make sense. Also got the Kestrel tent, and then hopefully later today, we should be getting the new Paragon Pro 270 awning, which is gonna be awesome. Everything uh, is coming together so nicely. We just gotta keep the momentum going. Initially, the Go Rhino bumper was not going to work. However, Charles was able to do some slight surgical finessing and make it work really well. And I think it really fits the look of the truck. Leveling the flatbed on the truck was definitely a process. Jay and the team have a system in place that is absolutely bomber. They take into account rake and body lines and get it to look absolutely flawless. The Next Jump Outfitters flatbed is all aluminum with integrated L-Track, which makes securing things within the bed really simple. The side boxes, again, all aluminum, very sturdy and very lightweight, easily mounted up just with two people. Next Jump Outfitters, again, has a meticulous system to get everything mounted up perfectly, where it's all removable using the L-Track mounting system. And of course, when it comes to bed racks, the only option out there for us is trucked truck has a amazing rack that completely fits the look of this truck. A big boxy truck deserves a big boxy rack. Assembling the truck rack went together very fast and installing it on the truck was even faster. We made sure to take our time centering the rack exactly where we wanted it for the best look and best functionality. The most impressive part of this system is going to be the fact that the boxes, the rack, everything comes off on quick release, just the L-Track bolts on there. And this whole thing can go from a complete overland rig back to a flatbed in just over an hour. Nearing the end of the build, everything 23-0 is going on the rig. Everything is getting mounted up on quick release. The Peregrine Pro and the Kestrel shower tent are both going on with Brax racks, which are a quick release system through 23.0 that is really easy to get on and off. Same thing with the Kabari XL. It's getting mounted up with the Van Ultra quick release system, which makes it going on and off a snap. And of course, Ultimate 9 was clutch with the Bluetooth throttle controller. It brings power responsiveness, the full econo mode, anti-theft. It was an absolute no-brainer to add to the Super Ute. You're not gonna believe it, it's 8.30 on Friday night and we actually got it done. The team here at Next Jump Outfitters absolutely demolished this build. They made this thing look like child's play. And I gotta be honest, a build is only as good as your problem solving. When everything goes right, anyone can do it. The real conquest of the day is going to be how do you problem solve? And these guys are absolute masters of problem solving. We had things come up that we never even thought about and these guys responded with grace and got it done super quick. Um, I would 100% trust Next Jump Outfitters with any build that I'm doing and they are my new go-to shop. Also, this truck has got a lot of other stuff on it. Obviously, I've got the Next Jump Outfitters flatbed and side boxes. We've got the trucked bed rack, the exoskeleton on there. Uh, there's, it's getting a flated topper. However, the one we had just didn't quite fit. So we're gonna get a different model. And then the 23-0 Armadillo XL rooftop tent. And then of course, we've got the 23-0 Paragon Pro on here. Everything on this truck looks 
awesome. Uh, I mean, not even to mention the four inch super lift, the 37 inch Firestone MT2s and the Method 704s, I think. So they, everything just came out so good. I had a vision in my head of how this build was gonna go and Next Jump Outfitters by far superseded everything, every expectation I had and they absolutely nailed it. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this build because it's been an absolute blast. I will see you guys next time.